some of the most dramatic wildfires, wildfires Canadians have continue ever seen. to rip through Flames. the central So Okanagan far, Canada's worst spring wildfire the season to date. Heavy rainfall and mudslides in South the Africa's devastation is immense. Where the rains have failed to fall, they are for suffering from years. global warming. They did five not cause years without rain. My name is Abedin Ogutade. I am from Nigeria, currently enrolled in a pilot certificate program in Canada. I have a background in engineering, currently situated um, around the GTA, um, Oshawa to be precise. It's just a few minutes away from Toronto. Lagos is like a coastal area, and um, recent times there's been an increase in sea level due to expansion and uh, rise in temperature. And that results in lots of flooding. And that's one of the reasons why lives are being lost, properties are being lost. Because I've been I've been a victim of flooding before where uh, properties, my parents' properties were lost and everything. So I, I'm one of the, and one thing is due to the fact that it's a coastal area and also an industrial area. So people are actually trying to live around there. So it's overpopulated. So some of the channels where water is it's actually affecting um, like the drinking water as well too. So it's being polluted. Um, and um, Nigeria has a very large, um, we produce oil. So some of those oil are actually um, drainaged into the water and they pollute those water, which affect lives and properties. What is your understanding of climate change? It's important, no? but I don't think people will care still. Why? It's like they just want to have fun, drink, go out, jog, and you tell me about it, right? It's like what? The, the question you asked before this one. Yeah. So does it affect me personally? So it's like the way I am now, I'm not sick. So I, like, I wouldn't care about it. But since I'm driving, I do care about photos, just in a second. Okay, I said, like, oh yeah, I know I'm complaining because it's affecting me now. See, I am a person of purpose, but since most of us, the climate change is not like really actually uh, affecting us in, like, in a personal way. Yeah. So we don't even like care about it. Yeah, because you can't see it or feel it, so right. it's not... Yeah, you can call everybody and just like, hey guys, climate change, you know, things are bad. They're like, hey, we're not going, hey, chill out, you don't have time for it. But if it affects you, like, purple, like, uh, not shading, and uh, that's when you start, like, taking it personally. Climate change also does eventually catch up with the everyday. And I think this is where climate science is helping us understand how these things are coming together. In 2015, we all started living on a new planet because we overshot a one degree Celsius increase in planetary temperature since pre-industrial revolution. Now for many people that might sound quite bizarre, but what it means is that prior to 2015, for almost 11,000 years, we had a relatively stable climate and we were able to thrive as a species. We were able to build um, settled communities, civilizations, engage in agrarian practices, have surplus, culture, science, mathematics, philosophy, and so on. And that 11,000 years window, that Edenic period, is what we've left behind. It means also we're in a world in which climate extremes are now shaping our everyday lives. So there's increasing uncertainty about a stable climate. We have like an overconsumption problem where we take more than what we need and we're disconnected from nature. We live in these human environments, these concrete jungles, and we don't think we think nature apart from us. When rea in reality, we're still a part of nature. We need this environment to survive, and nothing's gonna separate us from it. So we need to change our belief systems or at least grow our belief systems to be one that actually recognizes that the natural world is something we need and it's something we can help. That it has spirit and it's valid, it's alive. It might not be alive in the traditional way we view things, but it's still alive. Um, there actually used to be um, a canal that's more like um, a large body of water 
it's been so there's there's a very big industry that lives very close to where I live. And that industry, because the government have been trying, people around the, the environment have like written petitions to the government to actually um, close the drainage. Or like the bigger organization, I think they are channeling some of their waste products into the um, and into that that canal, that large body of, uh, of, of water. Uh, so uh, um, over the years, people kept complaining, but nothing was actually done because the bigger organization, like the paying the government and taxes and everything, so like the, the friends actually government like, oh, we can't do something about it. We can't do something about it. Nothing. And you know, um, um, the more you actually do something, it just keeps accumulating and accumulating. So uh, it got to a time where, and you know how uh, powerful water is. So no matter how you try to suppress water, to get to a time, it's just going to like bust out. Yeah. So uh, so the we experienced flood because the proper channel were blocked by some of those products from those industries. And so. Uh, all the like the city was flooded like cars were actually floating for the water so um, so many properties were actually lost like people actually lost most of their properties so we actually had to like um, sleep in the car for days like i remember myself my elder brother my elder sister we slept in the car my parents were like it's just hanging around. In terms of your contribution to you know our planet, do you think that you're positively or negatively impacting? I won't lie, I am negative. Actually, I'm negative. I try to be positive, actually, because even if I'm trying to like practice this whole thing of being positive to the whole planet, you know, my surroundings, so it gets difficult because there's not a lot of people actually are doing it out there. And you know, now the youth is not really like looking forward to actually like something about this whole thing so I have problems I see yeah, especially like right now it's like hey boys and everything like that and so on. that is just you know birds as well you know we've got animals and birds and so on. that need to actually eat on the ground but they need a clean environment I pledge to actually recycle my garbages properly I pledge to invest in electric cars when I do have the phone because it reduces the, the air pollution which is also a cause to climate change. And also I'll, I'll keep learning and making people aware of the impacts of climate change. I think.